of course I'm gonna show you now my beautiful beautiful sorrel and sweet peppers I'm gonna tell you something first I I have a the soil from this bit right there and then I pruned it on top and it's obviously sending on new leaves so that I can start sending on new fruits again so I planted this after Maria and I will happen to have some from it and look it's gonna possibly flower again this is my sweet pepper that I got even during Hurricane Maria someone gave me one sweet pepper one and then I planted the seeds and look at this I planted the seeds and they're all doing so well all of these look at this beautiful ain't it this is just beautiful I just love it and of course I mulch it I don't want to give too much details because I want to do individual videos about all of this but I'll give more detail here of course look at a pepper I put one pepper and look at all that they're all germinating these hands they are blessed right um, of course my peppers, sweet peppers they are flowering. This one is seasoned peppers, not sweet pepper, this bunch right here. Um, my Sorry if I'm speaking quick but I need to ensure that I do this entire video for you before my battery dies and before the memory runs off. Hey! Guys, I need your help. I have no idea what plant this is. This is not a cucumber. I don't remember planting it at all. Because look at this. Oh, I wish that thing could focus man. Let me see if we can... It can't, it's not, it just sucks. But this is not cucumber, I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm really, but it's very, this is the fruit. I'm really not sure, I'm trying to get to focus so you could see it. But I'm really not sure what it is. But it's doing so well, but the leaves are very rough. And there are small spikes on them, like the same, um, there are follicles that's on tomatoes, that's the same I'm seeing on there. So I'm not quite sure if it's, I'm really not sure what that is. I'm really not sure what it is. But anyway, so I've got some sweet, not sweet, ah, uh, those are cherry tomatoes. Is, are they? Yeah, I believe they are. Yeah, this, this, yeah, these are cherry tomatoes. Of course, my sorrel. I have to have this bit right here. I might do a video individually about it. So, let's go on with the tour before the battery dies. As I told you, this whole area that I'm going to plant my um, cucumbers. My sister is on her way to town. She'll buy it from me, so I'll plant them right there. Um, another thing quickly before I continue. This right here is normal rainwater. Not rainwater, pipe water. What I'm doing, I'm allowing it to sit there and I'm going to try my best for it to basically turn greenish. When it turns green, that means the chlorine in the water died out, so it's no longer chlorinated and it's contaminated with, um, with what is the name? Algae. So if it's contaminated with algae, it's better for the plant. So allow your pipe water. If you are someone who, are, who do not have access to rainwater but a lot of pipe water collect and allow it to basically spoil allow the chlorine to die out allow algae to take over if you want it to work even faster put maybe like a handful of manure in there or, or some leaves allow bacteria to take over which will basically fight against the chlorine and it will the bacteria will faster so this is what i'm doing in there as i told you of course this plantain tree right here it was a massive one Huge plantain tree, and then how oh, you can marry a bird down. But this one is struggling to grow back. I don't know why, compared to the others, which are massive. Single coconut, which survive. My turmeric, of course. Now, about the coconut, one of the difficulties I'm encountering right now is this. All of this right here would have taken years basically to fall off because the coconut is starting off. Oh, what a melon is growing right there. Ha! The coconut tree is starting off somewhere down there. The tree itself. I don't know if you can see it. See this? What you would normally climb up when it's tall. So all this have to come out before the tree reaches a certain height. But the thing about it is all those broke off. So right now the difficulty is that the coconut is trying to grow out. But it's growing out before it's time. All this is supposed to be here still. And then it will take years for these ones to come out. But they are already coming out and the tree is behind. So do you understand what I'm saying? So I need to find a way to remove all that. So that these guys right there can open up more so this is basically forced growth the tree is doing this to survive but it's not supposed to be so early here it is my cherry of course it's going nicely um i'm trying to find okay here are the fruits selling cherry fruits my banana trees well this one is a uh, um this is the banana this one right here of course adding compost to it so this is the banana i want to plant something i'm not quite sure yet this is planting banana and planting all the way to the end. So this is my cherry tree, my turmeric of course growing very nicely, very nicely in this very light soil. Can't wait to harvest it. And here's my 
cucumber plants I'm growing and I'm growing some peppers among it just trying to make space, use of the space of course I don't like to do the video when the sun is on the garden you don't see it properly so I'm gonna try to move very quick this is where the other um, coconut tree was as you can see it's dead now totally gone so I will make use of this space I will grow something here hopefully something that will grow upwards or I might try to move this eventually get another one like this or move this one the the cage that is the wire fencing put it there and plant some cucumbers to just grow upwards there just there alone I planted another coconut tree to replace it this one planted it just after Hurricane Maria got it by the bay so I planted it to replace this one my pumpkin is taking over my planting trees right there but that's okay the pumpkin they can't take over but they will not really kill the plant because they don't live forever the pumpkins only thing I'm now Finally, I have to keep my eye on this. This is a pumpkin fruit. Can you see the actual pumpkin fruit at the base of the flower there? So finally, there's a female pumpkin on the way. I've got a lot of male pumpkins so far. All these, they're male. As you can see, there's no fruit at the base right here. Normally, if you have the lump right there, that's the fruit, but there's none there. Um, so my have a pepper growing there. Also being taken over by the pumpkin, but that's okay. The good thing about that is that will encourage my plants to grow very nice because the pumpkin is shadowing the ground and the ground is very cool and moist so that will mean it will do well. If you have been wondering what's with my bottle project here they are my um my one well, my planting tree fell on it so it, some of it broke so I just have it there stored still. I'll eventually restore it or when we move I will set it up in my new backyard garden. Um cucumbers right there very nicely very now here's a story about this cucumber let me go back a bit if you notice here is nice and green and bushy and here is like what's going on there Bruce that's my other dog I kept him one time one one day and he ran right through here and he just destroyed my pump cucumbers right there so only this morning I tried to get some from that side and I put them to grow up on there instead but as you can see they are following my desire right there nicely added some ropes so hopefully some will go up on this this is recycled clothes rack so you can use that also in your backyard garden of course I've got a castor oil plant right there that plant this is what we call cow pot you can make castor oil with the seeds eventually when it starts to send for seeds I'll show you my moringa of course going nicely very very nicely there um, one of my um, projects is that I decided to plant plantain trees on along here so all the way up to the back of the garden this one I don't know what's going on I feel why it's taking so long but the good thing is that it started to grow when the pumpkin started taking over it really started to push out because it needs sun so it's starting to grow out more my guava tree I don't want to give you too many details on the guava tree but I will tell you for sure we've got fruits we've got fruits we've got fruits of course I will show you more about that after well in another single video by itself about my update on the guava tree this is my caram not my carambola my sour sop or guan banana tree completely recovering right now of course it had so many fruits but they died from hurricane maria when the hurricane threw them down um this here pumpkin growing nicely massive pumpkin leaves i need to really start growing different varieties but right now it's a bit difficult um but i'm trying my best to clear out different parts so my peppers I have to try my best also to move these pepper plants because as you can see they are growing in stands right here I want to move them somewhere on that side so I will have to get help for someone to help me to carry the entire thing it can move and I will put it on that side where there are more sun because they need sun they need sun they are growing good so far but they need more sun this area right here I am not quite sure what to plant there as yet I am going to try to get some cabbage to plant some cabbage here I've got another bush tea, you can use this to make tea, taking over, but when the time comes, I will clear off this area here. Of course, I've got another, not another, but I've got a papaya, a, a, a papaw, trying to survive there. Trying to, to grow up nicely. It's doing, I'll just let it do its do. This is the cambola, I'm trying my best also. I have to get someone to cut the top of the cambola right here, because it's going too tall. I want it to grow lower down, so I can easily harvest the cambola. But I need someone to help me to cut this. So if I change so my dad possibly to just cut this top and then to start to send fruits lower down and to go like a, a umbrella. So instead if you cut the top and put something on the top like a bottle or something to prevent it from going upwards, it will grow on the side like an umbrella. So you can easily access the fruits to just harvest it. 
nothing much going on at the back here just my planting plants of course I hoping to plant a massive papaya tree right here this is a very open space but I don't want to plant too much fruit trees behind there or vegetables I don't particularly see what's going on behind here so I don't want to take the chances so I plant a papaya tree right here in the tire I planted some seeds there I'm not germinated as yet I have no idea what's going on the seeds may be expired so as you can see this is the casing or the um, package for the seeds so that's why I planted them but they are not germinated so I will have to try to get an actual fruit or if I could I would transplant this one but it's too big by now um, also if you notice I've got a chain I want to remo remove it but I have a chain from this tree to my guava tree which is over there because the hurricane was so strong it burned my guava tree all the way to the ground so I had to pull it up and as you can see the chain is have a lot of tension but I must leave it or else the, the guava tree is just going to fall down because the hurricane really pushed it all the way down of course my banana trees growing there nicely doing pretty well this one is planting banana 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 planted no this is a planting no they are all bananas actually yeah because there was a planting and the hurricane killed it so I completely decided to put only bananas behind there so all of these except this one over there is a banana tree um, I've got a pomegranate growing right here I decided to put a piece what happened there was one growing on the side from the container right here I decided to put it in the ground so whoever buys the property will get a pomegranate plant so that will be okay but I have the main plant in a pot of course my golden apple tree right behind there this is a dwarf and it's starting to flower so this hopefully will produce fruit soon and I can get it of course this is my famous and massive golden apple tree very very big growing nicely can't wait to harvest and enjoy some golden apples from that so this right here is the end of the tour oh of course my avocado tree I have no idea what's going on with this tree honestly um, because it's supposed to be producing by now it's almost five years and it says it's not even growing really so I don't know one of two things I'm saying either this is just a normal tree that they told Mr. Dwarf and Mr. Dwarf or way below there's a rock it's it reached the root system must have reached some rock or something that's why it's not really growing out so I'm not quite sure what to do with it I'll just leave it there for the time being oh let me just show you something got some tomatoes growing there and I've got a lime tree but there's a disease attacking the lime trees in Dominica or the citrus trees I am thinking maybe this is what happened this leaf there started to curl up it was growing nicely and then the leaf started to curl up there so again this one is in a pot so if I have to move we can move with it that's why most of my main plants I'm trying to put them in pots some things I can go with I'm definitely going with my, my pineapple tree I definitely going with all of them so this right here is the garden tour I hope that you enjoyed this video if the camera is shaking a lot please forgive me it's my old time camera I'm using another high definition one which will stabilize so I hope that you enjoy the video of course don't forget to subscribe to Juno's with just a commentary if you want me to do any video individually on any plant that you saw of course leave a comment below and I'll try my best to do it don't forget to subscribe to Juno's with did I say Juno's with shop like that <laughs> Juno's with my other YouTube channel subscribe sorry to Agus with Backyard Garden like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter of course guys I do hope that you remember a Backyard Garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and Agus way is out let's try that again <coughs> An agris weed Oh cut the foot Oh what is going on An agris weed is out